All right, greetings people. I'm just uh, doing a bit of maintenance actually on the satellite antenna and uh, I had a bit of a problem with the SWR. So I've just taken the uh, 145 X beam down and there's a bit of a dirty connection going on where the ballon connects to the uh, loop fed array. So I'll let you have a little look at it. So here we've got the antenna down. I'm just uh, propping it on the ladder. It's the uh, 12 element um, loop fed X beam. So this is the loop. This is one of the loops, 145. And obviously there's the other one. That's in an X-beam configuration, but the problem I've got is I've just got the, got the old multimeter out and uh, I've been testing the uh, any points of bad connections and there's a lot, there were quite a big build-up of resistance around this particular connection on, on there where the ballon connects and uh, I wasn't getting any, any reading so uh, I've disconnected the coaxial connection, checked it on there and uh, right now I'm I've pinpointed it to being a dirty connection here. This was uh, quite furred up with a bit of uh, aluminium oxide, which tends to go white. So uh, I'm not sure whether it's because it were a loose connection possibly, or an arcing maybe, or uh, just general weather uh, from the winter there. So either way, I've got uh, some small little needle files out, uh, which, which will give a little bit of a wobble. These are the needle files. So I'm just gonna use a needle file just to, to just cl clean up the connection gently, I don't want to make it a big hole or anything just in case of cleaning off the uh, the white oxidisation which is the aluminium so hopefully it ain't going to take much more than that I'm going to put the uh, multimeter on it in a second and, can, and check the connections I'll let you have a look at that, fingers crossed so when I bought this uh, antenna, I got it from Innov Antennas and it came, this part actually came pre-assembled already uh, so I had no reason to to look at it, but it's obviously not been nipped up properly. So I'm just going to check it now. So now I've got the the uh, element and the connecting point. And with I don't know if you can hear that. Much better. So that's okay on that one. So I just double check this ballon. So that's fine. That's the ballon. Obviously no short circuit there. And then look, that'll connect onto that terminal. That will go onto that terminal. And there's a screw, got much better. Better the result than what I had a few moments ago. So that's probably what the problem was. Whoops. A simple uh, bad connection can cause you a few issues. So I'm hoping now that now that I've, I've got that cleaned up a little bit, I'll be able to tighten it up and uh, everything should be good to go again. So that's the situation on the uh, Innov antenna connection point on the uh, loop fed array so a little bit corrosion uh, probably causing me the issue you can see there's a little bit appearing here and there uh, it's particularly grim weather this side of the Pennines so yeah I'm um, gonna get it all knit back up and then we'll get it reinstalled back on its uh, rightful place which is not too difficult because it's just up there as you can see there's a 437 um, 30 element x beam which has given me no problems ever so there we go, we've got the end bared off already and I'm going to uh, continue now to get this job sorted out, hopefully get it fixed. So I've finished that small job, cleaned up the connections, put the ballon back on, on both feed points. So all that's remaining now is to uh, lift the antenna back up and, and couple it back up and let's see if it works. So here we are, we're up at the uh, head of the rotator, the G5500, as you can see how it's mounted on that pole there, there's the other side of the antenna, the 437 pointing 90 and I've just managed to fit this one on now so we've got this one going up into the same direction so that's the 145 so let's see how we get on from here so we're just looking underneath from the bottom as you can see the configuration of the uh, the X and the uh, full loops which is uh, why it's called an LFA Yagi loop fed array and this is an X pole or X Yagi same as the one on the other side which you can see is there so we're already good to go I'm gonna try it out now and see if we fix the problem making sure we've got the complete see, antennas aligned which we seem to have very good so I've just got it on the uh, slightly up above uh, the uh, normal band where the satellites is working 
I'm in that range, I'm just going to check the output and we've got the full power slamming back out uh, with a low SWR reading. So uh, excellent, that solved the problem for us nicely and a uh, fairly easy fix, just a little bit of corrosion, aluminium oxidisation. So yeah, I've got to keep a check on these things and uh, surprising how quick it can happen, probably get some decent sealant on there. Uh, and, I'll have, and I'll get back to you on that one when I do but for now we're up and running again and uh, all is well at the shack thanks for watching the video catch you again on the next one so we're back to full operation again and uh, that wasn't a particularly difficult job very pleased with the result right now we're back to tracking the birds catch you again thanks for watching